All right. So something that I'm gonna start doing on these videos and that you'll probably notice is I'm gonna start adding thumbnails to most of these. Um, it'll either just be of the bottle itself or of me. Um, I'm gonna try to spruce up the videos a little bit more. Uh, maybe get some more video editors in there. Uh, add maybe some effects. We'll see, it'll be slow going. Uh, just as I have time to fuddle around with stuff and spruce them up. Cause I know I'm not the most entertaining guy probably. I can be, I don't know. Apparently me being in pain makes people laugh. So uh, take that for what it's worth. But don't think I'll be in pain from this one. I hope not. Uh, today's sauce comes from us from Murph's Fool's Paradise. This is their mango ghost pepper sauce. Now, Murph's is based out of Denver, Colorado. And Colorado seems to be a pretty good hotbed for some of the better hot sauce companies out there. Um, there's obviously these guys. You've got Pex Peppers, uh, Burns and McCoy. Um, those are just a few of them. I'm sure there's some others that I'm not thinking of right off the top of my head. Um, Murph's Condiments was born in Denver, Colorado, while drawing inspiration from the richness and culture of Louisiana. Murph sauces have been carefully designed with local and natural ingredients to light up your tongue and dance on your taste buds. Each sauce will enhance the flavor of your favorite foods and recipes. Enjoy the flavor and savor the heat. Shake well. Uh, Murph'sCondiments.com, Denver, Colorado. Uh, link, as always, in the description if you want to check these guys out. Or if you're local to me, just check out uh, Burn Your Tongue Hot Sauces. And uh, check out the sauce and dozens upon dozens of others. Ingredients. Water, mango, red bell pepper, white vinegar, garlic, salt, orange juice, ghost chili, and sugar. So, again, the last few sauces I've reviewed haven't had a ton of ingredients to them, but they've been really good. Uh, mango is the first ingredient on there, followed by red bell pepper. So I'm thinking... The flavor of both of those will kind of balance each other out. Now, this lid has a typical flip cap for most condiments. But I'm not going to use that. It's not how we do things. Tablespoon. Use the tablespoon. Don't use flow restrictors. They ruin everything. Okay, so... The first thing, honestly, that I'm smelling are the bell peppers. They smell really good, too. Almost like they've been roasted, but... Uh, pick out on the mango, obviously. I smell a little bit of smokiness from the ghost peppers. It smells kind of salty, too. It smells really good. Um, doesn't sound like it's going to be like too crazy hot. Um, last thing I'm really picking up on is the garlic. So, the most interesting ingredient on there is obviously the orange juice. I'm not really picking out too much of that. So, anyhow, I stopped talking. Let's get more reviewing. Excited to see what these guys... You know what? I'm going to shake that up just a little bit more. Because it looks really, really thick. I don't even know if I did shake it up. <clears throat> um... See how this goes. I've sampled a few of their sauces. Just a little few tastes, and they're pretty good. So we'll see how this one is when I do a whole tablespoon. Um, it's always exciting trying a new sauce because you don't know what to expect until you go for it. And Roger, when he orders a sauce, if you're wondering why I don't give like really lousy reviews to any of his sauces, um, he's usually pretty selective about who he orders from and who he distributes for and don't think I've had any of his sauces I can maybe think of one example he had one really weird flavored sauce and uh, I may give that one a review maybe a bigger amount of it would be better I don't know but he's pretty selective so he's usually got really good sauces on hand so let's give this one a go and see how we go how it turns out
Now, it's kind of surprising. For being the second ingredient after water, it's not super sweet from the mango. If anything, I tasted the garlic and the bell pepper first. And then I got a little bit of the smokiness from the ghost peppers down there towards the bottom of the ingredients list. It does have a little hints of sweetness from like the sugar and citrusy from the orange juice. But the mango, I would have figured being that high would have been a little bit more present. And I'm not really tasting that too much. But it is there. Um, sauce is quite good. Got my dog coming to say hi to me. Sauce is good. Um, burn. I let it sit on my tongue for a minute, about 10 seconds. This burn came on from the ghost peppers. And it's just kind of lingering there. It's not an overpowering burn. Um, <clears throat> as far as the flavor is concerned on that, despite not being as sweet as I thought it would be, it's actually really good. Um, these seem to be one of those guys, one of these companies that is a flavor over the burn profile. And I'm sure as I check out more of their sauces, they will have something that will surprise me and be a really good kick in the tongue. But as far as flavor is concerned, I'm going to give that a 9. It's a really flavorful sauce. I really like ghost pepper based sauces. Um, this is a really good one. Um... Got a really savory flavor to it. Um, garlicky, a little bit of smokiness there. So, if you like a pepper forward foot sauce, that's kind of kind of what you'd fit your bill for. As far as the burn, I'm gonna give it a four. Um, it kind of lingers there. I was just sitting there, I feel it a little bit in my throat. Uh, definitely felt it on the back of my tongue first. Uh, non chili head, you're gonna find that again a little bit hotter, but not too bad. Overall, that's a really good sauce. I'm really excited to check out more sauces from Murphs. Um, Roger said he had an extra bottle in his car and he wanted me to try it, so I'm glad he did. I'm glad I did. I will be definitely checking more of these guys out in the future. Um, that's gonna do it for this one, though, you guys. Um, again, I will be putting a link in the description for Murphs. And as always, I will be putting a link for Roger's uh, Burn Your Tongue in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Catch you again later.